My name is Babs Dupont Hanneman and I manage the Home Share Program for the Alliance on Aging for Monterey County. I'm also the Housing Resources Specialist. Um, the Alliance on Aging has been around for close to 40 years. It's a non-profit agency that provides seven programs to seniors on the Monterey Peninsula and the Home Share Program is just one of them. Um, home Share has been around on and off for as long as the organization has existed, but has been a constant uh, uh, full-time program since 2000. Home Share is a program that tries to bring together compatible people who help each other. It's the exchange of housing for help, and it recognizes that two people have needs and something to give. Um, in the, this particular program, we help elderly people who have a need for some help and uh, they are introduced to people who are like-minded, who have the service to offer that the older person is looking for. Um, an added bonus is that um, seniors have uh, feel more protected at night um, get a home-cooked meal and many times have a new friend in their lives or their children feel uncomfortable with them being alone right right and so I uh, what I see is that uh, people call who are interested in first of all having somebody who comes home at night because we all or we they feel that uh, what if they fall at night and nobody finds them until the morning, until their lifeline service calls them. Um, and even that is not always uh, foolproof because we had a lady in, in uh, home share, and she still is, who fell, but she didn't have her lifeline service button with her. It's a necklace or a, a bracelet. And the lady who lived with her wasn't going to come home until later, so she found herself five hours on the floor. So it, it's never foolproof, but at least somebody did come home. Um, it seems that there's great fear about inviting a stranger into your house, um, because one has this idea that people who come to home share must have made bad choices in their life, and that's why they're probably out of money. And when you're not in that situation, it's hard to imagine that it can happen to someone, either because of medical issues or simply the economy or, or divorce, um, small social security income, um, you know, dare but for the grace of God, uh, go we, because it can happen to all of us. So I always say that people who come to Home Share looking for housing are just like us. Um, or just like you, the homeowner, it's just that, you know, they find themselves in a situation where uh, money is an issue and also most people who come feel that uh, they like the idea of sharing a home with another person if it's spacious enough and if they are like-minded. Um, so then we have children who call who feel that uh, their lives are full and so mom or dad could really use some help or some company and if everybody's on the same page about being generous and kind and welcoming then everybody works together to to make this a wonderful you know new way of living it keeps the older person in his or her home and uh, it provides a home to another person. And you see many times that families just sort of blend together. If we just wait for that right person, I can only do about 50% of the work by interviewing, taking applications, checking, um, getting a sense of people. And then the rest is, you know, I, I call it almost divine intervention because it falls from the heavens when somebody comes in and I secretly cross my fingers behind my back and, and hope that this is the person for somebody.
So um, I can only do so much, but I've been fortunate of making some incredible combinations, not making them because I only make the introductions, but I, you know, I've brought people together. For example, I was called by a, a daughter of a 90-year-old, 92-year-old lady who lives uh, in South Salinas, Corral de Tierra, in a very large, beautiful, lovely home filled with art and craft and, and uh, quiet. And, and this lady um, felt that she could use some help, but also her daughters felt that it would be better if mom had somebody live with, with her. Of course, what I need to add is that people need to be of sound mind. Forgetful is fine. We are all forgetful when we get a little bit older. But no dementia. Uh, it just doesn't, doesn't work. Um, so in any case, I went over and I talked with the daughter and the mother and looked at the house and had a sense of her personality and, and her interests. And then I said, well, we'll have to see what happens. I didn't have anybody at the time. The daughter, who was also dealing with an illness uh, in her family because her husband was very ill, was very eager to find someone. So I suggested she put an ad in the paper, and then she could do the screening over the phone, and if she felt that it was a person who made sense, that I could take over. Well. I turned almost everybody down because I, for some reason I didn't think they would work. The daughter told me later that she didn't understand until the person came along who was that one. So they're waiting to hear from me and and the other story that makes this come together was a daughter of a woman in Los Angeles and um, the daughter lives here with her husband and children her mother lives practically on the freeway in Los Angeles, Japanese, wanted to give her home to her son and daughter-in-law in Los Angeles and wanted to live here near her daughter and other grandchildren. But she only has $900 social security income, so there was no way she could rent something here. Well, I had spoken with the daughter over some months and the daughter said, and I told the daughter that I couldn't do anything until I met the mother. They came in, they sat down. The mother was wearing little white gloves, and I thought it must be Japanese culture. But it wasn't. She had a terrible skin condition because of stress. It's significant because of what happens later. Anyway, throughout our conversation, I knew that this was the one. She was 68 years old very quiet, interested in crafts, in writing, in studying. And um, so I asked both of them to meet the lady with the house and this lady. And they did, and they had a lovely time. And the daughters met each other, they liked each other. They met for tea, they met more and more times, and finally they said, you know, this looks like we should do it. So the Japanese lady has been there now for six months. The American woman eats Japanese food. The, the, the Japanese lady is completely integrated into this family. The turtle moved up from Los Angeles. All her orchids moved up. When I went to do the home share agreement, which is something I do after people get together to sort of clarify what the exchange is. It just help, helps understand or put on paper uh, what the expectations are about, not only about what are you going to do for me for how many hours, but also who buys food, who cooks, how many times do I cook. And so I went back for the home share agreement to this lovely house and the two ladies were sitting at one of several tables together with their cups of tea one was um, putting her Bible, she was copying her Bible in Japanese characters, and the other one was working on her quilt piece. And it was just total harmony and, and joy. And so sometimes, or many times, this happens.